Hey, have you ever heard or played the song Heart and Soul? Ever played it on the piano? If you know that, it takes two people to play it correctly. And that reminds me how our relationship is with God. And I want to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. I look at my relationship with God as a duet. When playing or singing a duet, there's always a lead sung by one person or played by one person. And then there's always a harmony sung or played by another person. Um, think of Simon and Garfunkel or um, the Everly Brothers, Peter and Gordon, Chad and Jeremy. Uh, anybody remember the Kalen Twins? <laughs> or even hey, the Righteous Brothers. That was a great duet. Each one of these songs has a lead part and has a harmony part. The same as with our relationship with God. We are in harmony with Him. And that when we do that, our life changes. But how does that happen? See, now as in the song Heart and Soul, the bottom part, the bump, 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 that's the foundation. And then you have the harmony, the bump, 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 da, 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 da. There's your harmony, and that's your structure. If we're built on God's foundation, we should be emitting a beautiful structure for the world to see as they see Christ living in us, in, in our hearts, and through us. But if this order is changed around, if we become the foundation, then it's all about us. It's not about God anymore. We become the structure as well. We're building that foundation for people to see us. And that is what's happened today. It's all turned around. Um, it's society. You look around, what do you see? I see mass killings. I see politicians <laughs> that no longer serve people. They don't work for the people. They work for themselves. Um, it's a selfie selfie generation you look at TikTok and facebook and all it is is selfies of everybody just me 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 all posing pushing the lips the whole thing it's broken homes it's estranged children from their families um the foundation has been turned upside down but you know in mark 12 30 the bible tells us and you must love the lord your god with all your heart all your soul all your mind and all your strength if we do this then we'll find ourselves aligned with God and he becomes our foundation. Even Jesus knew that the Father was the foundation. Jesus said over in 638, I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him who sent me. And then over in John 829, he further says of his relationship with God, with the Father, I do always those things that please him. Well, how do we do that? How do we make God the foundation? Well, first of all, we pray daily and we talk with God. We talk with him constantly throughout the day. Now, this, of course, is after we've accepted him into our life. And if we've done that, then we are born again Christians. And he lives in us already. But we keep that foundation strong where we can be the structure. We pray daily. We actively read our Bible. We not just read it. We do a deep dive into it. We study it. And we let it open itself itself up, uh, open to us. We let it open, we let it open itself up to us. I'm getting a little tongue tied, but then again, we follow the commands God puts in our heart. If He says to go this way, we go this way. If He says stop, we stop. We follow His lead, and when He's our foundation, we become that beautiful structure that people see Christ through us. God bless everyone. I hope that blesses you, and I hope that inspires you today. And I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.